Right guys, so uh, here we go. Part two in the battery pack. <coughs> so got the fans in place. Make sure you can see that. Yeah, let's bring them a bit closer. So we've got the fans mounted in the top of the box there. Top of the box. They'll be pulling out. You know, sticks drill some holes in this end so it pulls the air through and then up and out. Just sort a of couple of pieces of card in there at the minute, just holding the pack in place. In the bottom corner there we've got our new trick connector. It's going to be for the power feed. And then we've got a fan switch on the side. And the volt meter is going to go in there. So that's the pack coming on nicely. I'm going to do some more on him tonight. And then yesterday, to my surprise, this arrived. And so did this. Eggman, 25 pounds worth of cordless chainsaw dream. 25 quid including delivery, Oregon chain and bar, comes with a free tub of oil. It took two days to get here, which at this time of year is pretty good going. I'll uh, try and put a link in the description to where you can get one. Don't know how many they've got left, but you'd assume plenty. It was manufactured in January 2013. Nice little uh, gravity feed oil system. And I've hacked where the battery goes quite simply. I've just got two little copper plates onto some Andersons. And you can see there, that's the terminals for the battery. And these copper plates just push straight in there. Now, uh, perhaps I've been a little overzealous with the size of that battery pack. Because you can see that these cables on here are very thin. And I was cutting with this last night with no problems. The major problem is how hot the motor's getting. I mean, like really hot. So I'm going to have to do something about that. Maybe some kind of fan mounted in here blowing into it. Because uh, it did get really hot. But just one of my little packs that I've made. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. This is six, so it's about 10 amps, 12 amps capacity. You can sit him onto there. The weight and sit him on there like that. Just put him that way up. Just pull this little bit of elastic cord around just to secure him. And then uh, hook up the uh, Anderson connectors. And then you can kind of hold it. <coughs> kind of put my fingers under there and hold the battery pack at the same time. It's very low power so it doesn't tend to kick back, it just tends to stall, which I really, really like. It feels dead safe to use because it's not got huge amounts of power. Um, there's something really reassuring about it. It still rip you to pieces if you get it wrong, but yeah, it don't want to kick, it just wants to jam, which is kind of nice. So I can install that over there like that. Um, but she sounds <coughs> super sweet and smooth. <laughs> Little piece of china. Uh, there's no chain break, there's no nothing, that's just a guard. So there's nothing to stop the thing going round other than when you let go of the trigger. Which is pretty effective. She did uh, a nice pile of timber, uh, saw, saw through a nice pile of timber last night. Um, like I say, I didn't run her for too long because she was getting warm so. Let's take a trip down the garden, find a couple of logs and uh, 
I'll show you in business and as time goes on we'll improve job with a bigger pack but to be quite frank I think I've overkilled it with that battery I really don't think it warrants it I mean last night I used this battery and I did ooh, maybe 10 15 big branches cut them all down into small pieces I'll show you <clears throat> and I'd only used about I think I put two amps back in the battery yeah, I did all of them top pieces and them underneath and another few more that's in shed at minute so she's doing all right <clears throat> and for 25 quid you just can't fall off um, that's the pile I've got left to do there's some bigger stuff here but I'll split that with an axe so let's see if I can set this camera up somewhere where we can get a good view of what's going on and you can see her in action so it's a modestly thick branch probably looking at that, probably about a three inch diameter so uh, it's, it's pretty thick for a little 18 volt saw there's no way I could tackle this on the face ripper it's even got, which some of the posh ones haven't, it's got these little teeth here to dig into the timber. So, uh, yeah, here we go. You can see that, right? No. Pull it up, there we go. The velvet is smooth, green of a saw. And she's sharp. It's the sound of the super slick, precise engineered gears that really uh, that really make me smile. <laughs> so, like, how much better is this than sawing it? Loads. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to be doing any major forestry with it. I certainly wouldn't be carrying it up into a tree. But, uh, undercutting. Yeah, I'll do it. It's chucking the chips out. In the words of an overpaid Canadian, skookum chucha. instead of just slagging everything off on this channel we actually make shit how's that for you that's not even 50 quids worth that that battery pack I'd already made you know there's probably like a tenner in battery packing bits of solder uh, nickel plated battery strapping uh, balance cable electrician's tape there's about uh, 10 pences worth of elective kind of elastic cord couple of Anderson connectors that I already had though you could use anything and just two little copper plates engaged into the battery holder um, it getting hot is its biggest problem but we can sort that out I got 20 uh, I got a 21 volt pack on there I can get a 24 volt server fan and strap that to the side of the saw uh, pulling around 250 milliamps it'll be blasting air all over that motor that should keep it a lot cooler uh, automatic chain adjustment here just loosen this off turn this wheel and it sets your bar for you but, uh, it's perhaps a tad loose but it's looking all right for now I can't fault it came with an Oregon chain all packaged up original uh, Oregon bar it's even got the little spinny bearing wheel at the end I don't know what they call them because I'm not into this stuff but it's not a solid bar there's a little rotating wheel at the end there that goes round great thing absolute bargain so uh, yeah balls to Makita DeWalt Husqvarna still three four five hundred pounds and more 200 quid for a battery pack that battery pack that they're selling for 200 pounds got half as much stored energy as this half as much so these people are just having your pants down and shoving it where the sun don't shine so uh, 
yeah, they can take all the running jump for me because uh, I'm rocking it now. So uh, Ekman Garden DIY Outdoors, 18 volt cordless chainsaw, uh, 24.99 with free delivery. Build your own battery pack off your boogie. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. But I'm not going to stop building the other pack because I do want a huge capacity pack to run the face ripper, to run this, um, to run my cordless. Uh, I've got a circular saw, a hand saw that, that I use for when I'm doing more accurate stuff. So it's an old Ryobi one. You've seen that on the other videos. I want to be able to run that for longer when I go ripping pallets and stuff. So um, I'm absolutely, in the words of a Yankee, stoked, bro. So uh, yeah, winner. Fantastic. Um, we'll be back in part three when the battery pack will be made and we'll have a have a cabled version of this though this has surprised me because now it's cordless I can uh, run and jump with this bad boy so uh, there we are happy days indeed